In this video I will show you how to add secondary vertical or Y axis to a time series chart in Google Earth Engine. I suggest you to watch my chart styling video first, that will help you understand some chart decoration concepts, link to that video in card above and video description. Before we begin please subscribe to my channel for more easy to understand and beginners oriented Google Earth Engine videos, we are so close to 1000 subscribers and it really means a lot when I receive your emails and that my videos help you people. Also make sure to press the bell icon so that you're notified when I upload a new video. Enough talk let's start writing code. First of all I will define my study area bounds and filter modus NDVI and LST datasets. I want NDVI to be plotted on primary vertical axis and LST on secondary vertical axis. Both of these datasets have same spatial resolution of 1000 meters. I will filter both of these datasets. If you don't know filtering datasets please watch my video tutorial on that. Since both of these datasets have other bands, so I will select the desired bands NDVI and LST only from respective datasets. After filtering I will merge these image collections using the Google Earth Engine merge method. We pass in the first image collection which is NDVI collection, and the second collection which is LST. I am merging the two datasets because I want to compare NDVI with LST. If your dataset has both of your desired bands or variables you can only select them. Next I will make a time series image collection chart. I will use the ui.chart.image.series chart. This type of chart requires an image collection. If you don't know about charts please watch my playlist on charts in Google Earth Engine. I will make a dictionary out of the arguments of this chart and remove the x property argument as that is optional. In the image collection I will give the merge collection, in the region I will give my study area variable, in the reducer I will give mean reducer. This will compute the mean of every image in the collection. In simple words it means that we will compare mean NDVI and LST over time. The scale is the spatial resolution which is the same 1000 meters for both datasets. When I print this chart and run the code a chart is displayed on console. To add the secondary vertical axis I will do that with set options method. I will add the chart title. Once again I highly recommend to watch my chart decoration video first. To add the secondary axis we will use the data series. Series follow the concept of indexing. Since we have two variables NDVI and LST, so our index will start from zero. Index zero is LST, so I will give it the color red, and index one in the collection is NDVI, so I will give it the color green. Next to add secondary axis just write target axis index and give the respective index that is 0 for 0 and 1 for 1. When I add that and run the code NDVI is added instantly on the secondary Y axis but the chart starts showing null breaks. To fix that I will set the chart type as line chart and interpolate the nulls to true. Finally I will give both vertical axes the titles and run the code. You can tell that NDVI and LST are not on their original scale. The LST is in Kelvin. Please watch my video tutorial on how to scale and convert units of image collection in Google Earth Engine. If you learned something please like this video. Ask me in comments in case of any issues or write me an email. Code link in video description. I will see you in the next one. Peace.